Welcome to Muslim Apologetics Australia. As you know, over the course of a few days, I've been debating the Quranists, the modernists, uh, only Muslims, and I've been uploading some of our exchanges and our debates on YouTube. And um, just recently, I received information that one of my videos has been pulled down from YouTube. And the debate on that was called How to Expose a Quranist uh, Using the Argument of Bestiality. I completely debunked and refuted the Quranist so badly in that debate that it forced him to come and complain to YouTube that he did not wish the debate to be uploaded on YouTube and that it was breaching his privacy reasons. As you can see, that's the message I received. Your video has been removed from YouTube. Community guidelines, how to debunk a Quranist Muslim using bestiality. And it violates apparently some privacy reasons because I think I depicted his picture in there. And uh, But, yeah, I mean, that's just amazing. I mean, these people have got um, no privacy concerns when they're uploading their pictures on social media, on Facebook. Uh, they're pretty open and transparent about that. But soon as you upload their pictures on YouTube and show who the individual you're debating with, uh, then it suddenly becomes a privacy issue. I mean, I thought you guys were up for freedom of thought, freedom of expression, open for debate and discussion, but as soon as you lose the debate, you go and cry like a little child to YouTube and request the video to be removed. And here is the individual, Viva underscore. He says, By the way, Mustafa, I have reported you for infringing my privacy rights to YouTube. I am doing it openly, not the way you deceptively posted a private conversation in public forum. Um, excuse me, how is it a private conversation <laughs> in a public forum? Uh, it's not a private conversation in a, pu a public forum. Uh, when you post on social media, it doesn't become a, a private matter anymore. Uh, interesting in life, he says, why are you so silent when you, we could not stop you commenting on um, Liberal Muslims United, has the cat eaten your tongue or are you hiding because you've exposed yourself as being decept deceptive, coward and human being? He then goes on to say, why have you left the Liberals Muslim United page? Why, why are you running away when challenged publicly? Well, hang on a minute, challenged publicly? <laughs> he says, come back you chicken. Can't you handle an open and transparent discussion? Uh, well, obviously you can't because you got the video censored and you complained to YouTube and got the debate removed. <laughs> he says, is trolling a group the only way you engage? Is this what you do? Run like a girl when you are challenged? Run like a girl? Uh, you guys are, the, are like girls complaining to, um, uh, to YouTube crying and uh, demanding for the video to be removed. And by the way, no offense to girls, but I guess that's a slang use. But this guy calls himself a liberal and then accuses um, being like a girl. I mean, and these guys are the same people that talk about equality in the liberal Muslim page. <laughs> well, I'm a little bit confused. I don't know whether this person's Fadid Farani or Viva underscore, whether they're both the same people. I'm not too sure. But if they are, anyway. Um, actually, I didn't run anywhere. It was Farid Farani who actually blocked me from the actual Liberal um, Muslims United page. Uh, have a look here. The comment says, you have shown yourself. This is from Farad Farani. He says, you have shown yourself to be a troll. I am now officially giving you notice that unless you cease your trolling, I will personally make you out that you are permanently blocked. When you comment, please openly disclose to each person you engage with that you are here as monitor anti-Muslim apologists. If you fail to comply, you'll be blocked. Well, guess what? Lord and behold, I complied and he blocked me. So I'm actually blocked from the United Patriots, oh, sorry, the uh, Liberal United page. Have a look. Let's go. That's the Liberal Muslims United page. Mus Liberal Muslims United page. As soon as I click on it, nothing happened so i'm actually permanently blocked uh from the group so they they did their first initial block through barnell 
Arzabano first initially blocked me, and then they felt bad about it because I complained to Fadi to say, look, you guys are about you know, freedom of thought, open for discussion and debate. And then they felt bad about it. And so they re-invited me to the room. And then a day later, not even, I think within 12 hours, they blocked me again. They removed me. And their argument was, well, apparently I'm supposed to disclose to individuals if I'm going to um, uh, monitor or, or and, and, and video record the screenshot when it's going to go on to YouTube. And I actually agreed to that. Uh, and uh, I actually had one more debate with another individual uh, on the topic of, um, what was it, uh, Jizya. And uh, even in that discussion on Jizya, uh, I, and that's going to be uploaded actually, I'm going to upload that, that's the next debate. I actually told him in the screenshot that I'm going to upload the video. Uh, so I took the consent to do so. Yet even though I've taken the consent to do so and I've promised to do that in the future, they've still blocked me and banned me and removed me from the Facebook group. Well, that's okay if they've uh, taken down the video. I'll re-edit the video and I'll remove the pictures and re-upload the debate. I've actually got the file, the video already saved on my uh, hard drive. So I haven't lost the debate just because they've removed the debate. I haven't lost the whole debate. Um, I've actually, I can just re-upload the debate and uh, re-edit it and remove any um, pictures or, uh, or um, uh, any privacy concerned information and re-upload the debate. So just because you've got the debate removed doesn't mean you've won. I'm going to re-upload it, re-edit it, and then we'll see what YouTube has to say about it. But you can still cry like a little monkey that you are. And, uh, you know, you're obviously feeling the heat and you lost the debate. You know you've lost the debate. And so you're crying for privacy reasons. You never cried for privacy reasons on, you know, posting on Facebook, showing your pictures to everyone. But as soon as it comes on YouTube, oh, it's just a private conversation. Well, it's, we're having a debate. I mean, you don't want your debate to, to be listened to by the rest of the people. If you believed what you said was true, if you believed that you were right, if you believed that you won the debate, why would you be embarrassed about uh, your debate being uploaded on YouTube? So it just goes to show that you have got lots of insecurities and it clearly shows you're afraid for the broader community to access and see the discussion and debate. Talk about freedom of thought, freedom of right. Who, who is actually up for freedom of right, freedom of thought? Who is the one that is transparent? You or me, you are the cowards. So just wait for it.